Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another Ratchet Packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends and incidentally the dryer can you hear it? It's there. So my brothers and sisters I have been back in Iceland Lou went to a park uh, and while she was in there with kids you might see the vlog that she's done with the kids uh, in Alexander Park, it's called. Uh, and there's a, there's, the Iceland I go to is literally five minutes up the road. So I nipped in there and I found a few more bits that I haven't seen before. And one of them is this there on the block. I am actually going to make a little burger out of it. I'm not reviewing the burger buns. But I did pick these up in Iceland. 12 sliced seeded buns, £1.50. Now, they were frozen, they're not anymore. They're already sliced, like it says on the packet, which is great. I'm not danger of cutting my finger off to just do slicing a muffin. And uh, we're going to put it with this here, down here, which you've seen on the thumbnail and the thumb title. And we're going to give it one of these. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you, Chris the Butcher's Super Cool Review! So apparently, these are... No! Thought the camera weren't going to focus then. Uh, yeah, apparently new, the Iceland two bonus chicken thighs, extra large burgers, hot and spicy and there's no hiding it, the two quid. So it's a pound each per boneless thigh. Quite expensive. They don't feel very heavy. They're 300 grams, so basically they're less than 12 ounces, so they're less than 6 ounces each. But they cost a pound each. Uh, the burgers probably cost uh, £1.50, £1.15. P. 50, about 14 and a half, 14 pence, 13 and a half pence. So I'm going to put a bit of mayo with it. I'm not putting anything else with it. I know you can see on the picture there. Let's get a proper picture. It's got tomato, it's got lettuce, and it's got what, I don't even know what that sauce is, but it looks like it's got a bit of green shit in it. And it looks like under there, under the bun, just under where it says hot and spicy, there maybe is a little pickle. Little pickle. Uh, also, it looks like it's got some fries on it. Now, this is mine and Josh's tea, so I might put some with it. Uh, I don't think we've got any fries. I don't think we've got any chips, so I haven't I've got a clue what I'm putting with it yet. It may be nothing yet. Uh, but, yeah, I'm not doing all that because I don't want to lose the flavour of the burger, the hot and spicy burger, that we're reviewing. Hey, two hot and spicy boneless chicken thigh XL burgers. Cooked boneless chicken thighs with added water. Thanks for that. <laughs> In a hot and spicy breaded coating. Uh, we've got, wait, 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 wait! Uh, and that is it for your allergens. We have got chicken thigh, which is 62%. We've got uh, calcium, carbonate, iron, niacin, thiamine. <laughs> the usual suspect. Ribs, you know. Water, Durham, wait! Uh, semolina, dextrose, maize, starch, uh, gluten, salt, raisin edges, uh, and, uh, so I can't even read. Disoffices, 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 I'll jump up then. Uh, sodium, hydronate, chlor, carbonate, what the f? I ain't got a clue, I can't read after this shit. Uh, I've got garlic powder, whee, fucking, and it's got a paprika extract in. So it's uh, got quite a bit of shit going on, hasn't it? Uh, it cooks in the oven at 200 degrees for 32 minutes. Can you see it? Can you see what it is yet? Not a chance, Rolf. Ooh. Might get in trouble for that. <laughs> I really, really should uh, kick my gear in, uh, my braiding gear, before we've got on or something. Uh, that's it, basically. Do you know what we'll do? We're going to get down here and have a... Shuffed is at it. Right, here we are. Boneless chicken thighs. They're, they're, they're quite big thighs, to be honest with you. 
but I don't know how a real fly they are. How do they smell? Uh, they're frozen, I can't really smell anything on them, but they look good. I love this sort of thing, I've got to be honest. I love the uh, su supermarket southern fried chicken. I don't know why, don't ask me why, because I can't tell you. And if you can, if I shut up for a second, to my left you can hear the air fryer warming up. Right behind me you can hear the dryer still drying away. But we're getting these in anyway. That air fryer is red hot. Uh, it says 30 minutes I think in the... Uh... Hang on, hang on. By the time I find this out it's going to be cold again, isn't it? Uh, where is it? What the hell is the Cooking instructions. There it is. Uh, 32 minutes at 200 degrees. I've got that on at 200 degrees, the air fryer, I think. As we all are well aware, it's got no numbers or digits or anything on it, so it's all guesswork. Uh, I think it's about 200 degrees. I'm going to cook these for about 20 minutes and we'll check them. Off the pot. So I've cooked these for 22 minutes. I've knocked 10 minutes off the time. And then I've done this. And do you know what? They smell really, really good. Uh, I'm not making a mistake of burning my fingers again. Get them out of there. There we go. You can't see that, but there's, there's quite a lot of oil. Or fat in the bottom of the air fryer there. Better turn that off before it starts stinking. So we've got one bigger than, <coughs> one bigger than the other. <laughs> they smell fantastic. I don't think they're going to be out and spicy, but we are going to leave them for five minutes just to cool down. And while we're doing that, we're going to get, I'm going to get a couple of these uh, breaded, breaded seeded buns, or as I like to call them, muffins, in the toaster. They feel a bit plat, a bit cardboardy to be honest with you, but they're already cut, so I'm going to get them toasted and we're going to come back and build it. So that's my seeded buns toasted. I've got a bit of a uh, Hellman's mayonnaise Don't normally go for the Hellman's. I don't go for the cheap one, but it's just It's already in the cupboard and Lou got it. So I'm using it Not too much because I don't want to take too much away from the taste of this Hot and spicy boneless chicken thigh burger. You didn't really see anything there did you? Just just me with me thing me hand in the middle of the screen with a burger uh, with a, a jar of mayonnaise I mean Right, I'm having that one. Oh, it's massive. Look at that. Give that one, Josh. Put lid on this. I'll stick his it microwave on a plate. That is mine. There it is. It's an hefty thing, isn't it? You know what I mean? No doubt it'll make a turd. So anyway, let's get up here and slide it down my gizzard. There is my Iceland boneless, hot and spicy chicken thigh burger in an Iceland seeded sliced bun slash muffin and all I've got in there is a bit of mayonnaise Hellman's mayonnaise only the best uh, the proof is in the pudding now is to get it down my gizzard <sighs> how hot or spicy is it going to be Mmm, back on. I know I've only had a small bite out of it, but what I do love about this is it is it the look of it, the feel of it, it just it just looks like a proper chicken thigh. Not the mechanically fucking farm shit. Well, bring, bring. That. Is it hot? Is it spicy? No. I've not even hit the mayonnaise yet. Very, very little heat. Very, very little spice. In fact, probably none at all. But tasty. I could eat them all day long. But like I said, right, I'm being a bit bite. I do love 
uh, supermarket southern fried chicken for some bizarre reason. I don't know why. I just, I've ate it for that many years. I will it. Drop me that pot. Oh. That in there is proper chicken thigh. And in my eyes, the best bit of the chicken by far. Forget the wing, forget the breast. The drumstick is good, the thigh is excellent. Mm. I believe you. That there's a proper chicken thigh in there, people. And it's not hot, it's not spicy, but okay, hell, it's tasty. So if you like me, brothers and sisters, and you do, or you, <laughs> if you like me, absolutely weird, and you like supermarket southern fried chicken, then I do suggest you try them. If you don't like hot and spicy stuff, you'll probably be all right with that. Especially if you're putting like mayonnaise with it, you put lettuce with it, you put tomato with it, it'll complement it. You're just getting that chicken thigh. And, you know, it's been a few minutes after I've eaten it now, and there is a tiny, 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 tiny little burn going on. But nothing spectacular. But it doesn't take away the taste of it. For me, that is one of the best supermarket chicken things I've had in a long while and I've got one more thing to do and it's from Iceland and incidentally it's southern fried chicken thighs I don't know if I've done it I'll have a look if I haven't I'll do it and if I have I'll still do it them were superb worth every penny of their two quid bang I skimmed that right off top of the camera I loved it if you like this press like comment Share it on your social media and subscribe. And become a family member of hashtag 2CTB. Where I, yeah, fucking love you.